Hello, Disney cruisers! Today we're visiting one of our favorite places, Disney's private island, Castaway Key. In today's vlog, we will be showing you the walk from the cruise ship to the beach, the Stingray experience that can be booked before your cruise, the beautiful beach, and lunch offerings while enjoying the island. Before we start, be sure to subscribe so you will get an update whenever we post a new vlog from around the world. Castaway Key is located in the Bahamas and about 259 miles from Port Canaveral. It's also the only private cruise island that doesn't require guests to tender, making it easily accessible. Once off the ship, you will first pass the post office, where you can send home a postcard. Beware that operating hours vary. On the path, you will be greeted with lots of photo opportunities, and if you bought one of the photo packages, we definitely recommend you take advantage of them. To the left is Marge's Barges and Sea Charters Docks, where you will find fishing charters, parasailing, and some other excursions that have been pre-booked. To get to the main beach, you can take a tram, which is located just ahead, or make the walk yourself. The walk is super easy, and we recommend doing it if no one in the family has mobility issues. There's often a line for the trams, so you definitely can get to the beach faster if you walk a lot of the time. On our walk, we got to see Daisy and Donald Duck and also Chip and Dale, which we wouldn't have seen if we took the tram. We have made it to Scuttles Cove Tram Stop. Here you will find Scuttles Cove, the on-island kids club. This is also an amazing area to stop for a photo opportunity with the beach in the foreground and the Disney ship in the back. Mickey and other characters are often here to take pictures, so don't miss this opportunity. And be sure to take your character photos in the morning because they are not available in the afternoon. Right ahead, across from the first aid, is another great photo opportunity in front of the painted characters. She shells and everything else is up next and this is one of the Castaway Key gift shops. Here you will find clothing, hats, swimsuits, sand toys and more. Behind the shop, you can head along a path to the beach where you'll find the boat beach where watercraft rentals and excursions are held. Side by side are Castaway Ray's Stingray Adventure and Jill's Fins and Boats where snorkel and tube rentals are available. Castaway Ray's Stingray Adventures are held at various times during the day and must be pre-booked through the Disney Cruise online website or app. The first thing you do when arriving is sign in, and this is where you will pick up your snorkel gear and small life vest. Then you head to the shaded area where you can put on your gear and leave your bags. A cast member who works with the stingrays explains their biology and why the process is safe for everyone. You are then given a number where you head to a cast member who is stationed in the water with a stingray feeding device. She explains that you will be given squid and food protein to hold on the black Mickey spot 
where the stingrays will pass. During our experience, about three rays came atop the feeding device. Beware, some children might be unexpectedly scared when faced with the stingray. After this is done, you are given time to snorkel amongst the rays. They swim right past you and it's a really fun experience for the whole family. At least if the whole family likes stingrays. Welcome to the family beach of Castaway Key. We chose not to wander too far and stayed at the first family beach location where the snorkel lagoon is located. Don't miss out on the snorkeling where you can see all different types of fish and even turtles if you're lucky. You can also find underwater Mickey and Minis in two separate locations. The beach at Castaway Key is one of the nicest for children with tranquil crystal clear water and powdery white sand. Kids love wading in the water and playing in the sand. There is also an in-water play area further up this beach. And in the second family beach is Pelican Plunge, an in-water water slide. The beach is also not a bad place to enjoy a Disney Cruise Line coconut with a fruity drink inside. Walking off the beach, there is live music in the gazebo. And this is also where the character dance party is held and other activities when there are no health restrictions in place. Just ahead is the conched out bar where you can pick up frozen drinks and alcoholic beverages. Here you will find the food area where you'll find an ice cream station, drink stations and cookies barbecue that serves up lunch from 12.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. Inside you will find salad, burgers, hot dogs, ribs, grilled chicken, and some desserts. There is plenty of shaded seating area to eat, but you can also take your food back to the beach. Just be sure to take your garbage and tray back after you're done. After a long day at the beach, we definitely suggest you take the tram back. That's gonna do it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed our day at Castaway Key. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll do our best to answer them. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications to see more of our vlogs from Disney and around the world.